Good afternoon, everybody. At approximately 11.55 a.m. in the 7300 block of Dante, our officers were performing an investigatory stop of an individual subject, at which time a, the, the subject fled. The officers pursued very briefly, at which time our officers were fired upon. They returned fire. One of our officers was struck in the arm. He was transported by other officers to the University of Chicago Hospital with a non-life-threatening wound to the arm. In the exchange of fire, the subject was struck. He was immediately transported by ambulance to the University of Chicago Hospital, which was called on by our police officers. And shortly after noon, he was pronounced. At this time, COPA is investigating, and Area 1 Detective Division is investigating. If there are any questions. How many officers discharged their weapons? At this time, it looks like three officers. Uh, was the officer who was struck one of the officers who discharged his weapon? Yes. Okay. Uh, was the subject in the car by himself? No, the subject was walking. He was on foot. On foot. The, the subject was on foot was at the, the time. No, it was on foot. The, the, the individual was on foot. That's under investigation right now. We're still trying to gather more information, but we do know it was an investigatory stop. Uh, that is still unknown at this time. Until there's a full investigation done and our officers are interviewed, we won't know that at this time. Well, so we, all officers have been transported to the hospital for observation and uh, looking. Uh, clearly, they're shaken. This is a, a very troubling situation. Anytime uh, something like this happens, there's a, a shooting and uh, an officer-involved shooting. Our officers are shaken, but uh, they're okay for now. The subject was on foot, and what I can tell you is that, that it was an investigatory stop. Until we have a full investigation and all of our officers are properly interviewed, we won't have all of the details. So I don't want to give you anything that I don't have all the details on. Again, until we until those officers are to give a full statement, we won't know that. Last question. Uh, I don't have his exact age right now, but I'll give. I'll, we can get it to you. We can get that to you. There was a firearm recovered at the scene. Um, it was left for processing, so there was a firearm recovered. Yes. They were all in uniform. Yes. Well, it, it, it goes to the violent nature of, of what we're seeing, not just with the officers. Where obviously, our officers have been fired upon. Uh, there is a lack of respect for law enforcement at this time, um, and we see it every single day, but there's a lack of respect right now for life in general. And we need to start taking a closer look at the, the, the violent actors that we have out here um, robbing, individuals who are shooting young children. We have children being shot in this city right now. And it's high time that we stood up and, st and stood up against these violent offenders, especially these repeat offenders. So when you know that our officers are in danger and our officers are trained to deal with these types of events, then what are our citizens going to do when they face that same level of danger? So it's important for us to understand, it's important for us to understand that we have to stand up and fight against this type of criminal behavior and this type of violent behavior in our city. I, I can't, I can't hear you. That between 20 and 30, 
the, 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 the entire event is under investigation. So COPA is doing a full investigation along with our Area 1 Detective Division. Right, thank you guys for coming. We'll provide an update in news affairs. We'll, we'll give you more. Yes.